New in town, huh? Your timing couldn't be better. Well, Buckaroo, I was just on my way out of town. And here you are to take my place. No need to tell me what I was already doing. There's a man with the plan, the big cheese, the Ayatollah of rock and roll. He's got it all figured out. Circle of life is what it is. That's why whenever I kill someone, I make it a point to find a girl and stick my dick in her. You know, just to help keep the ride moving. The name's Vincent. Vincent Vincent. Second verse, same as the first. That's right. Named after the famous Vincent somebody. Or somebody Vincent. Both of those people. I respectfully disagree. Seems to me that if it's a good name, it doesn't matter who comes after. East, maybe. Or West. Shit. Whoever they got kill us, cunts and caps, that's where I'll be. Oh, no, no. No, bad idea. One goes in, one goes out. Two can't go in. That fucks up the mass something serious. On the other hand, nine months ago, I knocked up the speed up old Raider in exchange for some jet. I bet you both my fuzzy die, she's having twins. <laughs> Alright, you convinced me. The math works out. Just say the word and I'll carry the one. Drugs, bugs, and hugs. Just another day in the waste. For the record, my dice ain't that fuzzy. Just gotta get them waxed every now and then. Traveling the waste reminds me of the time I ran into this wild gecko. It was medium-sized, about my height. After we spotted each other, neither of us made a move. We just stared at each other for like a minute, trying to figure out which one of us was food. I try to familiarize myself with all weapons. Out here, you gotta be good at everything. Most times, the only weapon you got is the one the dead guys drop. What about you? How do you kill folks? Blade, bomb, and bullet. That's right, your Swiss Army knife. You'll kill a man with a fork if you have to. I like that. I like the idea that whatever you got in your hand can be a weapon. Out here, you gotta be ready to fling your goddamn cum in someone's eyes and blind them if need be. So next time you see me tossing around something sticky, that's why. Believe it or not, I used to be a courier. You needed something delivered fast and cheap, I was your man. Simple. I can't sneak or shit. So whenever I did a job, I'd spend a lot of time getting in fights. Eventually, I got pretty good at it. Not the job, but the fights. I figured I could make a lot more caps if I stopped delivering shit altogether. Besides, well, you know, the pain. I've heard drinking your own piss is totally fine. Piss is sterile. But if you bottle it and say, leave it out in the sun for a few days, well, let's just say I've had better ideas. I've got a friend I'd like you to meet. Sniper rifle, actually. Which is about as good as friends you'll find. He's got a good build and good range. So reach out and touch a guy from about half a mile away. 
But the best part about her is her name. I call her Payback, because she's one hell of a bitch. Sure, what are we trading? Barbs? Because all I got are jokes. Dick ones. exactly built like a big six. Sure, I got Kim strength, but that shit goes quick. I got two pieces of advice for you. One, never tell anyone everything. Said, one for each man I killed. Spread out from coast to coast like an army of ugly little bloat flies. Are you fucking kidding? What kind of father would I be if I let someone like me hang out around my kids? story. I once owned a pet cockroach. Figured if it could survive a nuclear holocaust, it could survive a parenting. So I put it in a glass jar, and sure enough, it died a few days later. Someone told me it's because I didn't give it any air holes, but I remember sticking a needle in its back. <laughs> that's pretty good. You're licensed to practice bullshit? I can sell you one if you don't. But they have a father. Me. Sure it does. As much sense as the gills on a dolphin. I'll try to think about that. Just let that one soak in. I'm a big believer in karma. You do right by the world and it'll return the favor. But we didn't do right by the world, did we? We dropped a big fucking turd on him, so it's no surprise we're living in the toilet. I realized that the day the body is a system built on purging. Taking a shit, jerking off, popping zits. It feels good to let it all out. The same is true for secrets, my friend. Don't be afraid to tell them. As a fan of prehistoric sports, I like picking up books with the stats in them. Batting average, slugging percentage, ERA. Shit, man, you could ask me anything. I'm like a fucking terminal with this shit. Sure, could do with a beer. When in doubt, buckaroo, aim for the crotch. Never fails. You don't get to choose your lot in life. Some people are born as pinky fingers, other people are born as thumbs. Me and you, we're the middle fingers. We're the fuck you the world forgot. All right. 
Roger. Let's kick up some sand, bucko. See what we find. 